Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124 and welcome back to more Let's Play Mario Kart DS. <clears throat> Real quick here, of course, gonna start out by getting into this screen. I'm gonna show the bottom screen on the top or on the bottom top and bottom screen of the quote unquote DS both. Um because this video I'm gonna be starting the mission mode. And I want you guys to be able to see the bottom screen because I'm fairly certain in mission mode there's certain things of interest you'll want to see that are on the bottom screen. <clears throat> but yeah, there's seven levels. Um, if you want a better explanation of how unlocking them works, if he does give it, look up Slim Kirby. If not, just watch Slim Kirby's Let's Play and watch that regardless. But if he doesn't spell that out, then just Google it. But anyway, you're going to start with level one. But yeah, every single level has um, eight different missions and then a boss mission. And of course you get ranks based on um, how well you do. Now I will say one thing at a time and that is to unlock level 7 you have to get a minimum of one star, a one star rank on all the uh, missions prior to level 7 to unlock level 7. Anyway, let's <clears throat> get started with the first one right away here. Dri Mission 1-1. One, one. Drive through all five numbered gates in order. Excuse the vehicle in the background. I am at window open. And a lot of these missions have time limits for how long you have to uh, complete them in. But if you want someone who just explains more and does a better job of talking about what you're doing than I will, then again, definitely check out Slim Kirby's Let's Play. Because I'm really gonna, pretty much just going to do the missions and not explain too incredibly much, whereas Slim Kirby has a, goes into a lot of detail about everything. So again, highly, highly recommend checking out Slim Kirby's Let's Play. Fuck all 15 coins. I didn't pay attention to the rank I got, but oh well. I'm not caring about ranks since I've already done them all, I'm just caring about completing them, that's it. <clears throat> it's interesting that you collect coins in some of these missions because um, outside of these missions, coins are not in the game at all in any way, shape, or form. I have to wonder if they, Nintendo would ever consider bringing the coins back as an item to speed you up like what was in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit, or if they never thought of that. But yeah, I got a two-star rank. Oh, that's one thing I'm wanting to pay. Want, uh, that's one reason I'm wanting to pay attention at least to nothing, nothing else to the ranks, so I know if I'm getting improving my previous ranks or not. And of course, just like the cups, the highest possible rank you can get is three star for everything. And another thing is, and I, some of you mentioned this in his Let's Play too, but say, like for instance. If I had gotten 3 star ranks and everything in this but 2 star rank, the 1 2 star rank would affect the entire rank for the level itself, so even though everything else is 3 star, this would show as a 2 star rank. Might have a good example here in one of these others when I get to these other ranks, if I even remember to mention it. But anyway, let's continue on. Destroy all 10 item boxes, and by doing that, it just means collect the item boxes. For the most part, most of these missions aren't too difficult. So there's a couple, to, at least in particular, that are very annoying just to complete in general. But for the most part, your bigger challenge is going to be getting at least a one star on everything than actually completing the missions themselves. Slash completing the missions in general. So I'm not really getting power slide boosts or anything, I'm likely not going to be getting too high ranks on some of these. Just driving through that normally though, I got a 2 star rank. Get the star and use it to hit 5 cheap cheeps. Definitely some interesting missions when you get to some of these where you hit enemies. <clears throat> Got a three star on that. Hope that didn't show on the recording.
And of course, I'm not sure if you start with all the ranks or if you unlock them along the way, but I know you have to do all the regular missions to unlock each boss mission. <clears throat> That's it, the numbered gates. I remember there being at least one on this uh, battle course. In general, at least, if nothing else, that is a pain to do. Like, to just complete. This one's not it. Drive out of the mansion backwards. <clears throat> Since you're driving backwards, you can't get a frickin' starting boost. I also don't think you can power slide. And you can only drive backwards, you can't like press the A button to drive forwards. Not that it massively matters, but just something of interest I wanted to point out. Collect all 20 coins. Form four power slide turbo is the one lap. I want to say this is on Yoshi Circuit. Nope. I think there is one that's on Yoshi Circuit. I could be remembering incorrectly though. Now it's like now it's like it's exactly that hard to pull this off when snaking is in this game. Use mushrooms to crash into the big bully and knock him off the stage. I'll mention this right now, all the boss um, stages in this game are all... Like, this is just a regular, but like... Because, like, the big bully's not exactly a boss, just a regular enemy you fight. Um, but outside of that, all these other bosses are all bosses from Super Mario 64. Um, or, and like, either Su Super Mario 64 or exclusively, either that or exclusive to Super Mario 64 DS. Did you never fight a regular bully as a quote-unquote boss fight, even though of course there is the big bully in Lethal Lava Land. <clears throat> I could have done that even better and I got a three star rank on it. Anyway, that's it for level one. Or, yeah, that's it for level one. Perform six hard slide turbo boosts in three laps. Ho hopefully, I can get at least a two star rank on that because it's the only thing holding me back from a minimum two star rank on the file, but if not, I'll wall. Anyway, crashing to all 200 wooden crates and destroy every one. I do believe this is on Delfino uh, Plaza. Um, I think I may have messed up. I want to say you actually want to come to those last. I can't remember. 
Maybe I, I must be thinking of specifically for getting a one, at least a one star rank. Um. Okay, no, you do, because, oh, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, I'm surprised that was a one star. But all ten coins. <gasps> I could be wrong, but I want to say they use the standard cards for all the characters in all these missions. I don't remember well enough. What the heck am I missing a coin? Oh, I know what it is. Restart. You have to back up for... Yeah, I can see it. I didn't pay attention to the bottom map because of it being so small, but you have to back up for one. That's are all five number gates in order. getting that mushroom. Destroy all five item boxes. <clears throat> now this one's an interesting one. Collect tw all 20 coins. And not only will you get better, more explanations from Slim Kirby and he'll like talk about stuff more, but he'll just in general he'll have more commentary than I do. Come on, really? Stupid traction. What the crap is with this traction? Seriously? Yeah, I probably got a pretty poor rank on that, but I don't care. <laughs> a B. Yeah, considering you need to get a minimum of a one star rank for all of the, uh, on all the missions to unlock level seven, that was a pretty poor rank, but I don't care. <laughs> Use Bob-Bombs to destroy all five Pokies. Come on, stupid crap. Wow. I definitely could have done that faster and it was still a three star. They're they're very lenient on this one. For how fast you have to do it to get a good rank. Drive through their right, all ten numbered gates in order. Seems like later on in these missions there's like at least one where you have to actually drive backwards to or drive backwards through gates. Um, let me restart that. And 
And another thing to know if you hit the right gates is once you go through the gates, they turn red. In general, plus you can see them on the bottom screen if you pay attention. Oh. Oh wait, never mind, it's 10 gates. I was gonna say, wait, did I miss number 7? What the crap? Where's the other gate? I think I know where it's at. Oh, there it is, right here. Perform six power slide, triple boost, and three laps. This is Baby Park. How did I not get at least a two star rank on this? Stupid ball crap, read my fingers, Nintendo. Alright, hit the Arox eyeball three times with shells. Yeah, I'm not surprised I got a crappy rank. Oh, well. <clears throat> anyway, on to level 3. Destroy all item boxes. All five item boxes. Oh, 
Okay, I think the other one should be coming right around to me. Maybe not. Oh wait, I can see under the bottom screen. <laughs> Son of a crap. Uh, let's see. I almost had it too. I need to look at the screen itself, not that bottom screen. Okay. Come on, stupid box. <sighs> stupid crap. I'm fairly certain there's, I would think there's supposed to be a specific way you're supposed to follow and be able to get them one right after the other easily, and I have no idea what it is, nor do I care to try and figure it out. Son of a... Okay, there, I got it without meaning to. Good enough. And that's a three-star rank, too. Here's another example of that, just one one star. Collect all 15 coins while avoiding the chain chomp. Oh, here's one of the ones, I thought there was one of these, at least. Drive through all five numbered gates in order backward. I want to say is the case, what I'm about to say here, and some of you pointed it out too, is I do believe they use all the uh, courses in this game, as well as all, like, all of the race track courses and all the battle courses in some fashion in the mission mode, which, if I am correct on that, that's something that's really awesome. <clears throat> Now, I'm not sure if they use Rainbow Road for anything or not. I can't remember it being used, but I don't know. Let's see if I can improve this one's rank. It's apparently really strict on the time for being able to get it since it's 25 seconds. You probably have to power slide. Oh, I got a new rank, yay! Now the overall rank for this level is two. <clears throat> race to finish before Yoshi. Now here's an actual race. I want to say it's just one lap. Plus you can't go the other direction, so you have to take a specific path. <clears throat> I didn't realize that until I just got that last no, mission completed, but if you get a new record, your uh, rank flashes. <clears throat> like if you get a new best ranking. Drive through all eight numbered gates in order. Actually... Yeah, I kind of figured. Oh well. Come on, really? Uh, oh, I see it. Okay. <clears throat> Hit five animals, or hit one animals with the shells five times. With shells. Stupid crap. This is bullcrap.
Yeah, I threw it too soon there. So yeah, what I'm gathering here is you want to just go ahead and aim yourself towards one and keep going back and forth like that to keep getting the shells. Wow, they are very lenient on that mission. Considering how many times I missed and how long that took, I could have easily done it with more than 30 seconds left. <laughs> they are very lenient on that mission. Perform 10 power slide tur turbo boosts in one lap. Yeah, they give you Shroom Bridge, which is a really long course to give you plenty of time or plenty of opportunities to do that. Plus this giant curve here as well. Crap. Again, I'm sure I'm going to get a crappy rank, but I do not care. So far, the lowest rank I've gotten in these is B. I wonder if B is the absolute lowest rank you can get in mission mode. Now I'm going to fall off just to have some fun. No. I've got time to do that, but I won't do it. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to fall off, but of course the game automatically puts you back in the center. I could have definitely did that faster and it was an A rank, I'm surprised it's not a B. Probably would have been if I was under 10, I would think. Left all 20 coins. This one! I hate this mission so much. This mission is evil. This one is one of the missions that I was thinking of that's very difficult just to complete. I hate this mission so much. I'd like to frickin' have just the top screen, but I can't. I need to be able to see the bottom screen to know where all the coins are at. Yeah, I messed up. This mission wouldn't be so bad, but it's... You know, I know they block off certain areas to give you kind of a path to follow, but... Still. I really hate this mission a lot. Unless it was for the rank and not for actually complaining that I hated it, but regardless, I know I remember hating this mission vividly. I hate this crap. Restart because I didn't get the boost. This should have been in a later level because this mission is evil. I might have missed this last time, I don't remember. But I'm pretty much using the bottom screen for getting these. This one right here may have been one I'm- oh wait. Okay, apparently you have to drive around to get this other one, so that's one of the two that I freaking missed last time. Oh, 
Okay, good, I got it. It's gonna be the worst mission rank I could probably get. A B. Yeah, considering that was right at the end, B has to be the lowest rank you can get in mission mode. How I ever got a two-star rank, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the first two were bosses or enemies, Big Bully and, um... I rock that we're in Super Mario 64, even though it's our 60 Mar Super Mario 64 DS models. Um, but, um, here we have the first Super Mario 64 DS boss that's exclusive to that, and not in the first Mario 64 on the Nintendo 64. But yeah, even though the first two were technically in Mario 64, the, again, like I said previously, the bosses of this game, or of the boss stages, are Mario 64 DS bosses. Reach the finish before Goom Boss. Yeah, I remembered it being on Baby Park. I gotta... I was doing a thing and now I gotta restart, which is no big deal. This one I have three that are only one stars. Anyway, reach the finish before Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, this is a very interesting mission, and Slim Kirby's talked about it as well, but you um are actually racing on this course backwards. Stupid snowball. <sighs> Stupid snowman. You stupid Donkey Kong. <clears throat> Go to Starman. Up here's Donkey Kong, take that. Oh, come on, you stupid snowball! Freaking make me lose my Starman, piece of crap. Come on, Starman. No, of course not. Oh well. <laughs> oh, must we destroy all the boxes? Oh no, it's uh hit twenty crabs. Insert SpongeBob Mr. Krabs money joke here.
Come on, game, really? Or not game. Elgato or whatever the frickin' crap that I hope the recording's not picking up on. I didn't get a good rank there. A. Don't care. Race, race to finish before the red car. Shroom Ridge. <clears throat> that red car is a crazy freaking driver. Drive through all seven numbered gates in order. <clears throat> of course, I missed the. Huh, and you need them because you need mushrooms to get through the frickin' things. Collect all 15 coins, if you get switched by a flop, you fail. Stupid crap. One freaking coin left. take it slow because I know I won't get a good rank but I care about finishing it not the rank it doesn't matter to me yeah B you pretty much have to be going fast straight without stopping I think to get a good rank but again I do not care you want to see someone get better ranks than me again slum Kirby's let's play break all 10 item boxes while avoiding the fake items Oh, okay then. I actually really like this one. And here's a real easy trick to be able to know which ones are real, which ones are fake. Look at the bottom screen. The fake ones are red, the real ones are uh, multicolored. That's a very easy way to break the difficulty of this mission. Is just look at that, and you'll be able to automatically know which is the right one to go for. Again, like... In this game, in Mario Kart 7, and I think Mario Kart 8 uh, on the Wii U, on the gamepad, the freaking map, bottom maps are detailed enough that you can literally play the entire game driving just looking at that. Even though it's not as fun because you're not seeing <coughs> the aesthetics you're looking at are not as interesting. But yeah, drive through all 10 gates.
Yeah, between the pinballs and... I'm actually gonna try something a bit different. I just mentioned driving while looking at the bottom screen. I'm actually gonna try that here. Only thing is, I don't think the pinballs show on the bottom screen like they do in Mario Kart 7's version of this horse, so... Yeah, the pinballs do not show. I think I can just barely get this done. Yeah, I got enough time to get to that last gate. Yay. <clears throat> Holy crap. Wow. So, confirm, you actually can get a lower rank than a B. <laughs> I would have thought for sure it'd be the lowest rank considering I was under... Within... Or... Er, Around, well, more or less around half a second from running out of time for that other mission I did previously, so I'm surprised <laughs> that you can actually get lower than a B, honestly, just because of that. Perform nine power slide turbo boosts in one lap. Drive through all. Oh wait, crap! Wrong one. Um, I didn't mean to go to that. Collect 50 coins while avoiding King Boo. You do this when it's Peach. I remember this one. I think when he gets you, he takes so many of the coins you hit them to get the amount of coins he took from you back. But the amount of time they give you, this is an easy mission. Yeah, I missed the one coin. Yeah, he takes all your co Yeah, he takes all the coins from the course and the coins you have, and once you hit him, you get all your coins back and the rest of the coins go back onto the course that you hadn't collected yet. So when he hits you and you lose all your coins, don't be don't worry, just hit him and you'll get the coins you already collected back. <laughs> This is definitely a very interesting one, and you very interesting and unique one to say the least. What the? I freaking hit you, you piece of crap! I freaking hit you. Come on, get the freaking coin.
Of course he bumps me into the lava. I don't know if him bumping into the lava freaking hurts your rank like it does, uh, when you fall in the, uh, cups in the game. I would think it does, but I don't know. Anyway, um, let's see here real quick. Hopefully the next video won't be too much, like, it'll be, hopefully it won't be much longer than this one. I'm hoping it'll be half hour to 45 minutes. I'm kind of wanting to do level 5 in this video, but I did more than half of the missions in the game in this video. So again, I'm hoping the next video won't be any longer, if not much longer than 45 minutes, but since, again, since I did over half the missions in this video, I'm going to end the video off here, guys, so I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Mario Kart DS when, I, when slash where I finish up uh, the mission mode. Bye, everybody.